and I have so many passwords here. This is ridiculous. Who's going to remember all of these? <laughs> Not me. Woo! Hello there, my materialistic minions. It's me, Bo Shevisu. Today, we are going to be coming with a handy hack hinge tip trick. It's not really a hack. That's overused, but we are going to do so because apparently that's clickbait these days. We're going to talk about how to manage your passwords. So as you can see right here, I have a live example of what I personally use after testing a lot of other different platforms. This is called Dash Lane. It is indicated by this, uh, this tiny little deer that's dashing along. But this is just an example login to my website. So as you can see, there's my public email address right there. And now you'll see that all these little dots and also I have a secret little Chrome extension built in that allows me when I hover my mouse over, you can actually see the password and I'm going to change this password. So don't think you can log into my website here with any of this information. But anyway, I just wanted to show you how ridiculous this password is when I click on it because you can see that that's pretty much impossible to break. Well, not impossible. Nothing is impossible when it comes to cracking things, but this is a lot better than, you know, your password that you have on your sticky note there on your desk or the generic one that you use for all your websites out there. The beautiful thing about this is that this password is accessible on my phone. It's accessible on all my laptops and my wife's phone and her devices as well, because we actually pay, it's about, eight cents a month to allow Dashlane uh, to be the premium account and they are in on all of our devices so it instantly synchronizes with all your devices which I really really like instead of like great what was that one password that's on my sticky note back at home attached to my monitor nothing like that so as you can see it automatically populates it and so once we click log in it logs us in just like that so two quick things that you need to keep in mind. One is you can access everything using a browser like Chrome or Firefox or Safari, whatever. And you can access everything, all of your passwords on dashlane.com. I would highly recommend downloading the app if you are a Mac user. And that's as simple as going to the app store and downloading it. And I'm gonna show you a quick example of what that app looks like on your computer. So there you go, I just opened it up. And the first time you open up your app on your computer, you're going to have to type in the master password, which will unlock access to all of your other passwords. So let's go ahead and we're gonna type in our example right here and on knock.org. And as you can see, there's my email address, Amazon at knock.tv. And then the password right here, you can either click on that, which automatically copies it. So all you have to do is paste it. You don't have to type in all the crazy different symbols and everything like that. Or if you do want to see it, you can hover over here and click show. And it does actually show you the incredible password. And also what's kind of cool is that down here, it has the website. So it, once it senses that you go to this web address right here, it will automatically populate the username and password and even automatically click log in. Now, if you have multiple usernames, let's say my wife and I go to the same website like facebook.com, for example, uh, it's going to prompt you and it's going to say, what username would you like to log in? And then you, it's, you just one click, log in as Bo, automatically populates username and password and boom, you are in. One other awesome, awesome little feature that I haven't seen in a lot of other password managing software is out there and this is emergency and this I think pays for itself when it comes to Dashlane. If you were to hover over here on the far left, again this is the app on your Mac, and click emergency, you will see that I have my dad right here and it says two day waiting period before they can view your data. And so I sent him an email and I said, hey dad, this is Bo. Um, if I die someday, you can save this email and click on it and access all of my passwords so that, you know, in the event that you do die, they're like, man, how do we access Bo's YouTube channel? This is going to be impossible. Got to contact all these people, have a death certificate to prove that I actually died. In this case, it's just a matter of him 
clicking on an email, and of course it does say two day waiting period, and this is just kind of a security feature. So let's say he clicks on it or someone else accesses his email and clicks on it, it notifies me, and I'm like, whoa, dad, why are you trying to access all my passwords? He's like, oh, I didn't mean to, or that's someone else, and I can revoke access to that. So that's why they have that two day waiting period baked into your emergency contacts. And at any point I can go in and I can change that waiting period, no waiting period, 24 hours, five days, 60 days, whatever. And I can also revoke access at any time in any of my emergency contacts. I think right there, that is so worth it. There are a whole bunch of other features within Dashlane, including automatically populating your personal information, so your address, uh, credit cards, things like that. So it is imperative that you keep the master password for Dashlane unique and not connected to any other website out there because this truly does unlock everything. So that's it. Small little down and dirty example of how I personally use Dashlane. And so bite the bullet, go sign up, sign up for their 30 day trial. By the way, I'm not paid by them or anything like that. Uh, I, I, I can't stand it when people are like, well, I'm compensated. Yes, there is a referral link in the description, but let's be honest, you don't have to click on that if you don't want to. My name is Bo Jevesu. I look forward to testing, reviewing, and demonstrating more fun things here on amazon.com and all across the internet.